Good morning, anyway, folks. Welcome along to the vlog. Uh, just navigated the cows, the entrance to uh, this National Trust Park. It's Clumber again, just after six in the morning. And uh, well, autumn's definitely in the air. We've got quite a lot of mist floating around the fields on the drive in. And it's about six or seven degrees, so decidedly cooler than the past few weeks. So I'm up this morning, take the dogs out early, because I've got a few projects that I'd like to start with. Oh, mushrooms. Always intrigued by fresh mushrooms. Yeah, that's one of the things I'm going to keep my eyes out for today. It's probably a little bit early for uh, porcini mushrooms in my area or seps as they're known, but it is September, so fingers crossed. Anyway, what I do have planned today is some tutorial videos for the staff in the pub. So for new starters, for people that aren't familiar with, um, you know, cleaning down and opening up, uh, for the guys who we've got working on uh, pots in the kitchen and who doing who are doing the close downs I'm going to put together a few tutorial videos Basically running through the basics which a lot of people out there might think that this comes naturally to us all but Dealing with people and that's what you do in business You deal with people I can tell you it generally does not um, So we're gonna start really with the basics a couple of videos on Sellermanship, pouring beers, setting up for the workday. And then there'll be a few other videos come out soon as well. Now, I'm going to release them on YouTube because I think it'll be beneficial to anybody who's watching them, frankly. But uh, first and foremost, they are for our staff. So if you're in the pub trade, I guess you could utilise these too. Now, there are going to be other ways, of course. Of doing these tasks and people might not agree with my approach but tough luck this is my approach this is how I say we do things in in my pub and uh, there we go and that's it this is the way I think it's it's correct to do so um, little things such as mopping the floor might sound like a really simple and uh, a kind of job that comes naturally to us all but there are certain aspects to it which some people perhaps don't put as much thought into as they should for instance measuring out your cleaning products and your water in your mop bucket um, a lot of people just free pour stuff into them of course this has a financial impact on the business if you're using too much and it has a hygiene impact uh, if you're not using enough so I think all will become clear once we put these videos together and uh, you'll have to let me know what you think of them. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera down now because walking and talking is making me a little bit out of breath actually this morning. So I'm going to enjoy my morning walk with the dogs and uh, I'll pick up some footage later on when we, uh, when we start filming these other videos. Look at that. She's beautiful. Not an edible though. Hey Reggie. It's not, is it? I'm hoping to catch a bit of footage of this. I've just seen a beautiful stout run across the path in front of us. And I don't know where he's gone. Might be hiding in the bushes. Or he's probably over in the forest by now. Long gone. Um, I was going to say... I've just gone past um, a runner this morning. So I didn't think it would be possible for us to see much wildlife. But there are, on the path... Um, footprints from the deer which I know are around around the park and that's the first time I've seen a stoat 
um, in this particular part of the world. Uh, last week we saw a badger running across the field like this. I mean, it was far too fast for me to catch on camera. Surprising how quick they can run. But you've got to get up early to catch them, I think. That's the key part of it. So I'll keep my uh, phone holstered for a quick draw, but most of the time these animals are way too fast for me to catch. I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to though, getting back to the house before I go into work and going to see if the chickens have laid me an egg for breakfast. I really fancy some dippy eggs. It's the small things. <laughs> on the lake it's glorious you can see the slight breeze just whipping it up over the levee on the end what a morning cameras ready to rock and roll with these videos but I think I've left my tripod at Tom's anyway I've I've rang Gemma she's at home she's gonna have a look there for me I've got all these tripods there but which I uh, I bought from Tom our chef before he emigrated to Australia but none of them fit my connectors yet so we'll see anyway in the meantime while we're waiting for Gemma to come back hopefully fingers crossed with a tripod I'm going to do a few more bits in the workshop. I'll show you what I've been up to. So I'm sick of all my tools getting covered in dust when I use the table saw or whatever. So we've just popped some slidey drawers on the sides of the worktop, but workbench set here as well. Look, you can see stuff in there. That needs a shelf in there. All I need to do now is uh, either set of drawers on this side to block this section in or set of drawers on that side and just close up this end and then that'll be it might put them on this end actually because I can then get to this section which I use to store my very 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 long SDS drill bits look at that it's like a pool cue uh, three foot Almost four foot long, that one. So I'll just drop that back in there. Right, let's uh, finish this off while we're waiting. So I've, I've just, uh, I'm just making a, a coffee and um, I've just sat down and done a storyboard for the video that we're gonna do today. So we're gonna have the intro, talk about equipment and chemicals. We're gonna talk about measuring the chemicals in the water. We're gonna talk about mopping, talking about rinsing then rinsing the floor, cleaning the equipment, record your clean, and then tidying the equipment away. So that's what I'm gonna be working to. I'm gonna go next door to um, the kitchen, which you can't see on there. There's Stuart, look, coming in. There's the kitchen, Gemma's in there. And we're gonna to put together a video using the cannon and the tripod and all the other good things. Well, there we go. We've just finished recording one of the tutorial videos in the pub. So that'll be going up on YouTube shortly. I'll let everybody else see that as well, because I think it's quite important um, for maybe somebody else that wants to get into the industry. 
So here are some of the props that we just used. This being the red bucket means that it's only ever used in the toilets. Uh, so there's a little sneak peek of the fantastic content that you can look forward to coming along soon to the channel. Oh, can we get this in here one-handed? Of course we can. Not just a pretty face. Right then, oh, I suppose I'll just utilize this mirror to say what I need to say. Thanks for watching guys. That's the end of today's video. Keep liking, keep subscribing. There's plenty more coming along on the channel soon. And keep your eye on Tom's channel because we are going to be going over there and brewing the coconut shy PA. Yes, we friggin' are. We'll see you on that video. Cheers. Ciao.